Hi, it's Magdalena, Wolf of Coins. Thank you so much for tuning in. I had some requests um, to share this um, my this new Astro Moon Diary for 2019. That um, it's my first um, diary that includes so much information on astronomy ever because normally I would have something like this because I like pretty diaries but you know just regular stuff with you know <laughs> well at least I knew when the new moons and full moons were but anyway um, this diary maybe I will show you first you can Sorry, <laughs> uh, you can pause and and see in detail what's inside. But I picked this one because I wanted something uh, that had times for all those occurrences in uh, placed in Europe because that's where I am, and this is from the UK, so the diff time difference for me is only one hour. And yeah, we get, here it's 2019, here it's 20 2020, <laughs> with full moons and new moons marked. So if you want to plan something, you can. And there's some like introduction. There's this this uh, spiral bound. I I like it that it's actually plastic, not wire, because uh, wire spirals tend to get you know bent. And I hope this one will be okay. <laughs> there is explanation how to use this diary. And <clears throat> there is something about the pagan wheel of the year. We have the solstices, equinoxes explained. Some astrology symbols explained, which is yeah useful, especially with with things like these. So. <laughs> <clears throat> It's very pretty by the way it has some pictures here and there not too much but yeah there is lunar cycle explained too if you want to uh, understand it better then uh, we have eclipses this year and where they can be seen like this on January 6th can be seen in parts of Russia, China, Japan, and the U US, and so on. And yeah, and then we have a lot about um, planets entering signs and what it means. And then, what is cool, it starts with the winter solstice. So I will be able to start using this uh, next week. So there's winter solstice in sun enters Capricorn. And here we have all those things that are explained at the beginning. So yeah, we have times for all these thingies. We have when the sun rises, when it sets and the moon as well. And then for, um, we get pictures, big, big pictures of the zodiac signs, and you also get like information lookout for the Orsid Meteor Shower Peak tonight. And there is cute, <laughs> there are cute leaves here of holly, which is nice. And so the astrological information is very detailed here. There is mistletoe. On Christmas Day. How cute is that? Then 2019 for Capricorn. And so on and so forth. Uh, before every month we get uh, information on 
events that will be visible on the night sky and the, the times and when it will be uh, like best visible and stuff like that so if you want to observe it you will have this information here which I find extremely cool so yeah there are like really nice illustrations here there is also for I think for every new moon there will be live meditations available there is some more information here um, like to what address online you should go to find it but yeah then on every new moon we get this circle and we can write in new moon wishes yeah, and I love it that you, you get this, these pictures I'm a visual person so I appreciate it and here you can see like Venus is very bright in the morning spectacular and Mercury enters Capricorn so it's very detailed and uh, I love it that they, they tell you when you should pay attention to what <laughs> which is great um, so I haven't read it like everything here I just looked through it but when I start using it I think I will pay more attention <laughs> It will be nice to be able just to, you know, be more aware, I think. Then we get the um, Imolk festival. There is something written about it and a nice um, picture here. For me, it will be Gromnica. And a new moon in Aquarius, when it happens, what hour new moon wishes and so on and so forth we go everything is explained yeah moon mars and the bull on the 9th of april the moon is just to the left of mars so you can can try and look at the sky and see what is presented here mm, and above aldebaran the eye of the bull of taurus after sunset looking at the moon will help you find them both which is awesome <laughs> because you know i since i was a kid i was interested in uh, stars and constellations there was one like album in our house i don't know what happened to it but i loved looking at it for now i only have <clears throat> this one thin book <laughs> star maps for beginners but it's yeah, it's uh, it's fun. It shows you the sky uh, according to months. But yeah, that's a digression. <laughs> mm. New moon in Aries. New moon wishes, and so we go. Lamas, we have. There's not too much on the festivals, which I think is not not a bad thing. We already have a lot of information packed in here anyway so so yeah that's the part with with the calendar and we finish when we finish when do we finish yeah and this in December as well 31st of December it's the end and then we get even more information retroguard table I don't understand it yet so <laughs> no comment here but we also get for each month we get uh, like a moon um, uh, calendar it says when it's new when it's full at what hour and yeah all 12 months here so if you want to plan according to the moon you can it's like easier to see when when what happens and then more tables more tables planet position planets positions at noon gmt so it's like i believe it's one hour difference to my time and yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And we get, of course, place for notes, which is nice, always nice. <clears throat> and that's it, that's it. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any more questions, uh, please let me know. And I wish you a lovely day. Bye.